So we are creating anthropomorphic monsters from the human face. So I have the video up of how to draw this face uh, simplified and we're going to use this to start doing the drawing. So you follow the same process as before with the simplified human face. I'm going to grid. Placement for the face. And if you need a refresher on this, you can look up that video again. I'm going to kind of speed through this a little bit. Move the eyes. Again, that video is up, so if you need to watch that video before you do this so you can understand the proportions and everything, you can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to want to turn this person into... Uh, some type of animal and that's what anthropomorphic means is, is humanoid to animal. I like werewolves so um, I looked up a bunch of references for wolves and I'm gonna take parts of the wolf and add it to my person. So for example definitely the nose is something that sticks out so I'm gonna take uh, the wolf nose and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the nose down a little bit and it's got this little and I do look at references when I draw so definitely have a reference of what whatever the animal is so you know how to make the nose or whatever it is look the way it needs to look Biggest problem is some artists don't use enough references. Um, the mouth changes. It kind of has this, comes down like this and separates and comes back further into the face and kind of comes down and makes this shape. So the mouth is gonna get bigger and then the nose builds up a lot. So if you think of a, like a dog, the nose gets built up like a bridge. Make them mean looking a little bit. I'm gonna keep the eyes kind of human, but um, let me come back to the mouth and finish up the mouth. So the teeth are really important. You know, especially with a werewolf. You know, and they start getting more jagged. And then they got these big canine teeth come in.
when I'm drawing, I do, again, use, I can't stress enough, looking at your material and drawing it. And I've drawn quite a few wolves. So the anatomy and things like that are pretty familiar to me. And that looks kind of cool. I like that. Maybe point the chin a little bit more and bring it out. So like elongating the face like a wolf. Come into the eyes. I'm going to keep the eyes kind of human. Um, I am going to come into the eye a little bit more and create these layers. But the eyes are really, I mean, if you want something to look kind of scary or mean, the eyes are really important to like that menacing kind of look. And I'm going to leave the eyes, you know, these are going to be like a, um, just like a solid color. So I'm not going to mess with those a lot. Just makes it look more ethereal from a different world or something. And then you got this line that comes down. Uh, ears, definitely. You know, especially with the wolf, you got the ears that come back. Point. So I'm going to augment that. You know. texture to it and then the hair is so with wolves they are I mean the fur is just everywhere so I'm gonna make the widow's peak kind of like the mane of the wolf some like hair coming off of his face can see him you know, he's not human it gives this nice shape to it too more of like a wolf and then bring that fur back something like that Maybe it's two tones in between. It's like on the wolf, something like that. But that's a, I mean, that's a basic design. You can get into the shading and doing the detail and that kind of stuff. But you need at least this type of starting point. And this is really for my uh, special effects class. Special effects because we're getting into this. So, so I think that that'll do it, and I'll clean it up and shade it and and that kind of stuff too. But just for you to be able to follow along, I think that's a good start of taking things like the ear, the nose, the mouth, and changing it, altering it, and uh, making it into more animalistic.